Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at an example and identify some of the key aspects of this experiment that we've been discussing. So in this example, uh, we're looking at chia seeds and weight loss. So chia pets, those terracotta figurines that sprout fuzzy green hair, made the chia plant a household name. But chia has gained an entirely new reputation as a diet supplement. Who in here has had chia seeds? I always put them in my oatmeal. In one 2009 study, a team of researchers recruited 38 men and divided them randomly into two groups, treatment and control. They also recruited 38 women and they randomly placed half of these participants into the treatment group and the other half into the, to the control group. One group was given 25 grams of chia seeds twice a day and the other was given a placebo. I'm not sure what that was. <laughs> the subjects volunteered to be a part of the study. After 12 weeks, the scientists found no significant difference between the groups in appetite or weight loss. All right, so let's practice some of our vocabulary. Describe the treatment groups. And this, recall these are the groups receiving treatment or factor. Well, if we look back at the language here, we're told that the participants are these 38 men and 38 women. And we're told they're each divided into two groups, treatment and controlled. And we're told that they're put half of these participants into the treatment and half into the control. So the treatment groups, well, that would be half of the participants. So it would be the 19 men and 19 women. And the treatment that we're giving is given is what? Well, the one group had 25 grams of chia seeds twice a day. So the treatment groups are these 19 men, 19 women who received 25 grams of chia two times a day. Describe the control. That's the group not receiving the treatment. So the control would be those 19 men the other half of these groups, and 19 women who did not receive chia. Has blinding been used, single or double? Has a placebo been used? So single blind means that the study participant doesn't know what group they're in. The double blind means that both the study participant and the researcher doesn't know what group the participant is in. So the researcher could be given two cups. One has the chia, one has some placebo. They don't know which is which and they're giving it to the participant. And then a third outside person tracks uh, who is taking what treatment so that it is recorded who's taking what. Um, but uh, yeah, so it is recorded who's taking what but the actual researcher who interacts with the study participant doesn't know. So from the language, we can see that this does seem to be single blind. And that is because it says here um, that one group was given a placebo. So we can assume that they don't know that they're in the placebo. So we know at least single blind. But we don't, they didn't say if the researchers don't know who's in what study. So has there been a placebo? So placebo means a, a fake treatment, so to speak. And we're told here that yes, there is in fact a placebo. The other was given a placebo. So we can just say yes. Has random assignment been used? Well, we can reread here and see if uh, we can identify any random assignments. And yes, we are told here that the participants were randomly placed 
into one group or the other. So we can say, yep, yeah. yes. Randomization was used when separating the treatment and control groups. Has blocking been used? If so, in what way? What is the blocking variable? So we haven't talked about this word too much, but we can just think about it in terms of, is there a grouping that's taken place outside of our treatment groups? Well, when we think about our participants, we separate our participants into male and female. So in this way, we're making a block between males and females. Often blocking is used when we wanna make sure we're representing all types of people. So we categorize them in a certain way and make sure we collect data on each of these different types. So yes, blocking has been used, the blocking variable being gender. What is the response variable? So this means after the participants have been given one treatment or else a placebo, what other variable was collected? What was measured, including units? So we see that in the end, they said, the scientists found no significant difference between the groups in appetite or weight loss. So what they measured after giving these people the chia seeds or the placebo was appetite and their weight loss. So appetite, maybe we could be considered in the amount of calories eaten. Did they eat more or less? That's a sign of, of appetite. And then weight loss probably in pounds. How much weight did they lose? Can we generalize the conclusion to populations at large? Can we conclude causation? This is an experiment, so yes. When we have an experiment is when we can show causation. But in order to generalize uh, or be more accurate in our generalization, we'd wanna be able to duplicate this study just to ensure that the results we found didn't just happen to be some uh, chance uh, or variable chance. And we'd also wanna make sure we haven't done any voluntary bias. Because maybe those people signing up for our study are only those who have a particular reaction to chia seeds. So then just to summarize here on this last page, we just have some key factors for a well-designed experiment. So those things include the control group and treatment group are formed through random selection. The environment of the control and treatment should be the same with the only difference being the treatment. So we don't wanna have multiple variables that we're trying to assess. We wanna to try to have everything the same across the groups, except for the one treatment that's different. A placebo is used with a control group when possible. If a placebo is used, some level of blinding should be implemented. That way the effect of the placebo is being measured, not, whether, not the effect of whether or not the person is just say in the study. All right, and with that, please feel free to review this video uh, and get some more practice on using these terms and continue uh, with your problems. Keep up the hard work.